Chapter 2 Whitby Town Vatican City Two weeks earlier, Abraham van Helsing awakens from his bed, knowing something isn't right. He then says he is awake. He then gets himself ready and makes his way to the Vatican, where he sits in a sinning booth and says, Forgive me, Father, for I will sin. The priest asks, You will sin? Yes, I will sin, Father. He is awake again. Count Dracula. My ancestors made the oath to kill him, and every generation since, he has been so hard to fight but I will kill him this time I will bring an end to this long bloodline that my family have had ever since he marked my ancestor the first Van Helsing of course you will need to prepare for your journey and to fight this demon of course father Van Helsing then takes holy water, crucifixes, stakes, garlic, all things that he needs to face Dracula and gets onto a carriage that takes him to the train station in Italy and then all the way to the north of France where he then boards on a boat going to Whitby, North Yorkshire where his journey will continue. Two weeks later in Whitby, Harker, Mina and Lucy spend time in Whitby enjoying the seaside and relaxing. Harker then says to Mina, I'm thinking why don't we have the wedding here you want to get married here well if you're okay with it i'm fine not having a massive party or do or anything just me you lucy and a few witnesses i mean we can celebrate when we return to london do you know what i think that's a good idea so much less stress, said Mina. Lucy then saying, Are you two discussing what I think you were discussing? Yes, we are, said Mina. You know, I never did ask you, but I guess now's the time. Would you be my maid of honour, Lucy? She said, Yes, I would love to. Excellent. Well, what shall we do to celebrate the occasion? I know what. Let's go to the opera tonight. I hear there are some good shows on. Of course, yes. Then it is settled. I will see if I can get us tickets. I'm sure there are some still selling. Meanwhile, back in Dracula's lair, in the attic of an old abandoned building, Ranfield awakens him, saying, Master, ah, Ranfield, is it another evening? Yes. This afternoon I was keeping an eye on Miss Murray, as you've requested, I do, when you're sleeping by day. They are going to the opera. I took the liberty of getting you a ticket. Ah, thank you, Ranfield. You are a good servant. Yes, master. Would you care to bite again? Of course. Hand me your arm. Ranfield then 
rolls up his sleeve, revealed have bite marks all over. Dracula then bites into his arm, feeding on him. Ranfield getting a thrill out of it, enjoying Dracula doing it. That evening, Mina, Jonathan and Lucy arrive at the theatre. Sitting in a booth, Mina says, How did you get us these seats? Let's just say I paid a little extra to, well, get these seats. It is a great occasion. Then Dracula approaches them, saying, Ah, I appear to be in this booth. Um, you don't mind if I sit with you free? Of course not, said Lucy, looking aroused and pleased to see him. Say, I don't think I've seen you around. Um, what is your name? Harker then looks, saying, Don't I know you from somewhere? I feel like I've seen you before. No, I think we would know, said Dracula. You remind me of a client I went out to do something. Like I said, you probably are mistaking me for someone else. My name is Carl. Before giving his name away, knowing that Harker would recognize him immediately, he then improvised and said, My name is Alexander Grayson. My name is Lucy. I'm Mina Murray. I'm Jonathan Harker. Pleased to meet you. I see that the performance is about to start. They then watch the opera, classical music playing, all enjoying it. After the show, they walk out of the theatre, Mina saying, Oh, what a wonderful evening. I know, my love. It is a wonderful evening. Lucy then says, uh, But, so, Mr. Grayson, um, that accent of yours, it's very foreign. Can I ask what it is? I come from Romania. Um, a long line of Romanians. Oh, I see. Would you like to join us for a nightcap? I would love to, but it is very late. Good night. Lucy then says to him, Well, you know, you're always welcome to, you know, join me in, join us any time. I shall accept your invitation greatly, said Dracula. As he turns around, he smiles knowing that he can now access them. Later that night in the early hours, Dracula sit, stands, sitting on the cliffs of Whitby, looking at the full moon, Ranfield then saying, Master, it is daylight is coming very soon, we should maybe consider retiring for the day? Of course, Ranfield. Please return to our secret lair and get some rest. I have a small errand to run. Dracula then turns into a bat and flies all the way to where Mina. Jonathan and Lucy are staying. They fly to the hotel, and there he then sees Lucy asleep. Dracula then turns into some mist, making his way into her room, where she sleeps. Dracula then reforms and says, Ah, Lucy.
Lucy. Lucy then awakens. Then, looking into Dracula's eyes, she is immediately in a trance. She then says, Mr. Grayson? Alexander Grayson does not exist. It was an alias, so I cannot say my true name. What is your true name? Lucy asked. My name is Dracula. Ah, your skin is so pale it brings out your veins, said Dracula. It does? Yes. It is all right. Close your eyes. Dracula then gets out his fangs and feasts on her blood, drinking from her. He then feeds her some of his blood. Then Dracula notices that the sun is beginning to rise. He turns into a bat and quickly leaves, retreating, going back to his hidden lair. Later that morning, Mina comes in to wake up Lucy, saying, Lucy, it's 10 a.m. in the morning. What are you doing still in bed? Oh, Mina, I feel so completely drained. Are you okay? You don't look well. Come on, I need my maid of honor. Me and Jonathan have decided to be wedded tomorrow. Oh, how lovely. Oh, no, please don't open the curtains, said Lucy. Is everything okay? Not really, I'm... Mina then looks and says, What's that on your neck? What? You have two puncture marks. Oh, I don't know. Then... Then Mina tells Lucy to rest, as she is not well, saying she'll call a doctor later. Meanwhile, getting off a boat, Van Helsing arrives in Whitby, saying, He's here somewhere. I can feel it. So... Van Helsing begins his search. He goes into a pub. Where are all the strangers? Where are all the people see him as a stranger? He then asks for a pint of bitter. One local man saying, Who are you? Are you on a tourist or something? You could say that. Say Van Helsing. Well, enjoy your stay in Whitby. Oh, I intend to. The barman then asks, Would you be staying here for the night? Yes, yes I would. Well, we've got a room upstairs for you. Ah, excellent. Please do not disturb me when I enter my room. I wish to be alone. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, walking through the town, Jonathan asks Mina, So you're saying Lucy had bite marks on her neck? Yes. Then Harker has a memory, a brief flashback of him also having bite marks, then feeling his neck, not feeling anything on there, thinking they must have healed. Mina then says, Are you okay, Jonathan? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just... I'm just hungry, that's all. Come, let's get some fish and chips. Oh, lovely. 
as the night comes in. Lucy, still in a deep sleep, then awakens, where she opens the window and sees Dracula crawling the wall, climbing into the room, saying, You taste divine, my dear. I taste divine, yes. Close your eyes again. I will begin the feed once more. Dracula then bites into her neck, finishing her off. The next morning, Mina comes upstairs saying, Lucy, how are you feeling today? Any better? Lucy? Lucy? Tapping Lucy, seeing she's awake, she has no response. Feeling her, she's cold and has no pulse. She then fears that she may be dead. Calling the coroner, they then say she is dead, like she's been drained of all her blood. Who could have done this? said Jonathan. I don't know. But whoever did this must be some sick bastard. We shall take her body. Does she have any family? Yes, down in London. We'll arrange her funeral. Of course. Mina, all distraught and sad, wonders what can they do? That they were, we were supposed to be getting married this afternoon. Look, we will get wed, but now's not the time. Oh, poor Lucy. Later, during that evening, at the mortuary, an undertaker hears a voice. Help me. Help me, says the voice. The undertaker says, hello? Help me. They're burying me alive. Oh dear. Hold on, I'll get you out of there in a minute, miss. He then opens the coffin and sees Lucy laying there, saying, I'm so cold. Of course you must be. Come on, let's get you up. I best report this immediately. Then the undertaker turns around. That is when Lucy gets out her fangs and bites into him, drinking his blood, saying, I'm so hungry. Then, making her way out of the funeral home, she then is greeted by Dracula, saying, Ah, you fed. Good, Lucy. I want you to distract Jonathan Harker for me. He is too much of a problem. I wish to get with your friend Mina. Yes, my master. I shall do it for you. As she goes to fulfil her command, Ranfield asks, Oh, so that's what you did, Master. You got her to... Yes, very good of you. Fine work indeed, sir. Thank you, Ranfield. She is my lover. I can see it. She may not remember yet, but I will get her to... As Jonathan and Mina sleep, Jonathan then hears a tapping on the window. He, open, he opens his eyes and walks to the window. There he sees Lucy floating, saying, Lucy? Yes, Jonathan, 
It is me. How are you floating? I am now a whole new person. All new, all different. But I'm the same. No, you're not. Mina, then Lucy goes, no. This is between you and me. You and me. You and her. You and me, but no. I'm engaged to Mina. Mina is the one who went to bed. You were supposed to be a maid of honour. Not anymore. I've always wanted you, Jonathan. I've always wanted you. Then... Looking up, Van Helsing, whilst patrolling Whitby, he sees... Mina float... he sees Lucy floating. Then... Putting Jonathan in a trance, he gets out of the room and stumbles all the way outside onto the balcony of the room that they're staying in. Van Helsing rushes and bangs on the door, wanting to be let into the hotel. The hotel receptionist says, What are you doing? It is a matter of grave importance, said Van Helsing. Then... Mina, asleep. Lucy says, let us do it. Right here, right now. Now, look. I don't know if this is some dream. But you have to stop this. No, no. Mina, the, Mina then starts to feel cold. Telling Jonathan to close the window. Then Lucy gets her fangs out, saying to her, Harker tells her, Lucy, what's happening with you? Why are you doing this? Because I'm hungry. Then hissing at him, before she can go in to kill, Van Helsing then breaks into the room and reveals a crucifix to Lucy, scaring her away as she then returns into a bat and retreats. Harker then says, I'm sorry, who are you? Mina then wakes up, getting up out of bed going, Jonathan, what's going on? Who's this man? Van Helsing introduces himself, saying, My name is Dr. Abraham Van Helsing, and you have vampires in Whitby Town. Vampires? Yes. Vampires.